right, hi Colts. So we're gonna do a couple of leg exercises right now. Um, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to see my face or a lot of my upper body because the camera angle I need to use. Um, but you'll be able to see all of my legs and my hips. So let's get started with some point exercises. So let's put our feet in first position. So they're gonna be pointing outwards like the letter V. And now we're going to point with just one leg directly in front of us, like that. So I'm touching a spot in front of me. Now I'm going to go straight out to the side and touch a spot beside me. And then I'm going to go behind me, like that. So we can point in front of us, let's say five times. So one, and back, two, and back. I'm squeezing my bottom muscles and I'm squeezing my thigh muscles. Three, four, five. When you do this exercise, you'll want to keep your toe touching the ground. Mine isn't quite because of the carpet and the tights and it doesn't exactly work out, but that's the goal is to keep your toe on the ground. Pretend like you've got a marker on your big toe and you're trying to make a straight line with it, just with your big toe. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but go out to the side five times. One, two, make that line. Three, squeeze your bottom. Four, five. Now, if you have trouble balancing, you can get a chair and put it next to you. If you're exercising this leg, put the chair next to you here. Now we're going to go out behind us. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So we did five exercises on this leg. Let's try to do it on the other leg. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And now to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully you can see that when I point out all the way and I'm extended, my leg is straight. It's a straight line all the way down to my toe. When I'm coming in, it might be a little bent, but when I go all the way out, it should be straight. Now let's go behind us. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that was fun. Now let's try to add a demi-plie. Demi-plie means that you bend down a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. And maybe we can add a fun hand movement too. Let's try putting our leg in front of us, doing a plie, and maybe we can move down like that like this with our arms. Is that fun? You could maybe try doing like this, like you're presenting a sword to a knight, or you can go up like this, like you're shooing away some little mice because you're Cinderella, and you kind of want them to get out of the way while you do your exercises, you don't want to hurt them. Maybe you can come in like this. That could be fun, like you're giving someone a hug or you can go outward, like you're presenting something. In ballet, we can do fun arm things like this for a nice flourish and for fun. So let's do, do, let's do five demi-plies as we stretch and do something fun with our arms. One, two, three. I'm squeezing my core muscles so that I can stay upright and straight. Four, you should feel it in this muscle here. Five. There. That was fun, right? Now let's do it on this side. We're going to go out to the side and let's do something fun with our arms again. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Just kidding. In ballet, you don't really do weird arm things like that. You want to make all your movements smooth. All right, let's go behind us. 
One. Oh wait, we're doing please. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's do this leg. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, oh, touch my bookshelf. Two, three, four, five. All right, that was pretty fun. Now, maybe we can try going down and doing demi plies. So instead of just going down, let's add a demi plie like this. Down. All right. One, two, three, four, five. That was fun. Other positions you might do whenever you're doing these point exercises is a third position. This might make it a little bit easier. Instead of trying to focus on coming straight to the side, you might want to just keep this leg in front of you. This leg, this position is very common as just a standard rest position. Hmm, can I think of some other leg exercises we might want to do for this video? Hmm. Here's one that can be fun. If you're not quite ready for this, you don't have to do it. And it's probably a good idea to have a chair with you. This one's fun because you get to point and you get to do plies at the same time. So I'm going to come up on releve. That means I'm gonna come on my tippy toes. So it's almost like I'm pointing my feet, even though my, to my toes are not pointed. But let's pretend like they are pointed. So I'm coming up on releve and then my knees are going to plie, but my ankles will still be pointed. See how my heels are still up? So it's releve and plie. And now put your heels down and now straighten your knees. Heels up, knees out, heels down, straighten your knees. This one's fun because it's kind of like a circle. Up, out, down, in. Up, out, down, in. You could also try doing it backwards. Down, up, in, down. Wait, that's not right. Out, up, in, down. Out, up, in, down. I should probably have my hands like this. Out, up, in, down. Up, out, down, in. Fun, right? All right, let me know if there's any other exercise that you know of that you'd like to try. And I'll try to remember other exercises that we can practice at home. I know Miss Tashi found a really fun Facebook website that has amateur ballet lessons, and that could be really interesting to check out too. Maybe I'll have that. I'll have that in um, the description. All right, bye guys.